Well, that's why I cut the giant hole in the floor, it is to mount that. This is just a mock-up. Got my breather, just probably gonna go over here somewhere. I don't know if this needs to be above or below the breather connector on the bottle, but I guess I'll figure that out when I get there. I'm not a master fabricator, but I can usually make a thing or two. So, I'm mocking up on this piece of thin plywood, I think what I'm gonna do is, oh, drop that. This is all frame right down there, which is what this is clamped to. This is frame, and then uh, you have the frame rail there and there. So my plan is uh, just get a sheet of aluminum, like a quarter inch thick, and I'm gonna riv nut it into the frame down there. So it bolts in down there, and then up here where there's no real support, I'm gonna kind of like this bar that I have mocked up right here. There's um, it's not really structural, but here and, well, I guess from this side you can see, from here to here, I'm gonna bolt the bar in on top on these two. It'll span the distance and bolt on the other side, and that's what the top of this plate's gonna stick to. Um, and then, I don't know, it, I might make another support from here, but I think that might be enough to support this. And, it's, and this barely fits. When this uh, trunk is shut, there's about, a quarter inch of gap between here and the top of this. Um, it's not as high up as I want it to be because I kind of wanted this to be a flat floor, but there's a lot more room to be able to get that thing out of here now. Because before, the, uh, the pan used to stick down to about here, and you can see that it's quite a ways up there. So there's plenty of room to pull this out and get it out of the way. So anyway, time for me to go back to work. So I don't know what I've been filming so far, but building this mount, after I got it mocked up, this is what I came up with. I got an aluminum bar that comes across and it uses the existing little bolt things in here. There's one here, one there. So it kind of clips in there. I drilled through, put another one there. And then I made a little off bracket in the middle to kind of support it. It's actually pretty strong. On the back, I just used a, um, scrap piece of aluminum. I JV welded the uh, nut on there, or the uh, bolt into this, so that way I can take it off from the other side, because normally the skin's here and I don't have to worry about that. I'm gonna need to do the same to this one and uh, this one, just so I can take it off if I need to. I don't think I will. And then in here, I have the, uh, I rib nutted these, or insert nuts, whatever you wanna call them, uh, into the frame down here, and what bolts to that is this. So it's is just a flat piece of aluminum. And I will, let me see if I can put this in here with one hand. So it should, should sit just like that. So that sits in there. My plan was to just quickly get this mounted. So now it's going to all those rib nuts. It'll bolt in down there, bolts in there, here, and the other side to give it strength. And then my tank, my tank mounts right in here. So let me uh, do up all these and I will come back um, and show you what it looks like. All right, it is basically done and in there. Um, it's at the point now where it's, it's super solid, very strong. Um, you know, this wobbles a little bit right now just because this mount, this uh, top thing is loose, but it is, it's not going anywhere. I did not mount the, uh, the breather tank because I didn't know if that had a specific height or placement that it needed to be. I saw a lot of people move them all over the place. All I know now is I need to kind of vent that uh, out of the car so it's not in this compartment. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but I was editing this video. Somebody left a comment about polar motion of inertia or polar moment of inertia. And, um, and that's basically if you have weight, the more weight you have behind the axles, the it's it's much harder to get the car to rotate because you're having to move that inertia or change the inertia of the weight that's behind the axles and getting it to rotate. Whereas if it's closer into the axles or in between them, then it's much easier for the car, I think, to, to rotate. I don't know. I'll put a link down below. But that comment got me going. Did I put this in the wrong spot? And then it got me thinking, oh crap, did I mess up and forget anything like, you know, the scavenge line that's on the bottom? You know, that needs to be a certain height. So when you shut the car off, 
the oil, there's always oil in the tank and the oil is draining to the engine and not the other way around. You wouldn't want that lower. And then when you shut off the engine, you know, the oil slowly draining back and then you start the car and the oil is no longer at the front of the line and it starts without oil and that'd be really bad. So all that's going through my head now. Now I did some pre-research and I've never done this before, but I did do some pre-research. That's why this is a, a four gallon tank with dash 16 lines. That is because you want the bigger lines, the better, and they also hold more oil. But, um, and also you want, that's the pickup line where the oil, it, it, the, the pump picks it up from the, um, from the tank and brings it to the engine. That needs to be above the engine like I was talking about, but you'll see that it's, uh, it's slightly below this frame rail. So I'm gonna have to come out and go slightly up, go forward, and then C5s have this thing right there. So I was gonna go up and over that, but maybe I'll cut through it so the line goes flat and then I'm gonna go right down the passenger side to the front. Lots of things going on. I guess first off, let's look here. It does look like this thing doesn't, isn't gonna fit but it does, let's see. And, you, and I did take that mechanism here off the middle. I'm just gonna put hood pins in here. I've got extras from the last race car that I built. So, coming in here, see it fits in there just barely. But I'm gonna come back in, you know, that's where I cut this hole. I got a video cutting out this hole. I'll link it up above, um, but I'm gonna put uh, just flat aluminum around there, cut out that bottom so I can get in and out of there, which will, which will be pretty nice. Let's get this open. So, you know, the big perks of it being here is it's easy, easy to work on. You know, now, now I can easily check the oil levels and uh, if I need to drain the catch can or something like that, I can. A um, lot of room. I don't have to worry about as much oil, hot oil being at the front, all that thing. And I can, if I need to drain the oil, I just come down here. It's really easy to get to right there. All the benefits of having that floor cut out uh, I can now just I can easily get access to all of this because there used to be a like a tub right here And that's been cut out in that other video, but now I can get the rear subframe I can just slide it back to get the torque tube out or even just come right in here to work on the um, uh, The differential there I can even replace it without taking a subframe out which you can't do unless you have that cut But a lot of questions is this in the right place should I move it forward now? I can pretty fairly easily move it to about here. It's not much more forward, maybe a foot more. I could do that and maybe build them out from that, those little uh, brackets there across and kind of hang it this way. That's an idea. That would put this like really close to here. Um, I, I wanted the four gallon tank and then it's just such a big tank that it has trouble fitting in here. And because this is a Z06, this doesn't open like, another, like other C5s. So I was thinking like, oh, I could put it right here because there's a ton of room. Then I got to worry about, okay, I want to build off some kind of firewall so that way the hot oil, if something leaks or whatever, it doesn't spray in the compartment. And then, you know, then I've got to have it, uh, it'd be hard to access it. Like you wouldn't even be able to get to the top of the tank because none of this comes out. And I like cutting holes in the car, but I'm not cutting holes in the glass. So, I mean, maybe I'll put Lexane in there at some point, but not now. But I could put it up here. Uh, I'm not going to put it in the passenger compartment because that's where I want passengers to ride with me. I, everybody wants to ride with me in this car, so that's not going to happen. But yeah, I just got a lot of things going on. A lot of good things going on in my mind. I'm going to end this video here. You know, if you got comments, let me know. If you've done this before, let me know. Uh, I've never done this before. And this is my first time doing any of this. I'm learning and maybe I put it in the wrong spot. Maybe I didn't. But now at least I can get working on the car. I'm going to get my daily pan out, the dry sump pan and pump and everything. Get out, put that on the, mock it up on the engine. I've got my engine mounts and all that already ready to do that. So that's probably going to be the next video. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hit, hit subscribe, be my co-driver. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know how I'm doing this right or wrong or ideas you might have or feedback. I'd uh, love to hear it. And uh, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.